So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question, right? So simplified questions typically have an expression or an equation, right? In this case, we have an equation. And alongside of that, we have a very short question. So that's the anatomy, typically, of simplified questions. Now, when we look at the equation that we're provided with, this square root of k plus 2 and then minus x equals 0, we can't really simplify that because we have these two unknown values here. But when we get down to reading the question, we see that k is a constant, but we see that x is 9 x is equal to 9. So now when I rewrite this, knowing that I need to simplify it, k plus 2 and then minus 9 equals 0, I can now simplify this or solve it it's the same in this particular case by adding 9 to both sides of the equation. So now I have square root of k plus 2 is equal to 9. If I want to remove the square root, which I will need to in order to solve for k, to isolate k, I will raise both sides of this equation to the second power. Raising a square root to the second power, as I have on the left-hand side, will always remove the square root, leaving me with just k plus 2. And then 9 squared is 81. And then I subtract 2 from both sides so that I can isolate k. And I'm left with k equals 81 minus 2, which is 79. And therefore, the correct answer is choice D.